Now, is there anything I need to pick up before I talk to her? Double-bladed lightsaber. Yep, that's all worth getting. If you talk to her, I think you can come back. But you might be missing out on the loot. I can't remember. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? My name's Garrett Khan. So many things to say here. So many sexual innuendos, lightsabers, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm here to save you. It's a long story. That's not the only thing that's long. Winning the swoop race was the only way I could save you for later when I tie you to the bed. Never mind that. I won the swoop race and you're my prize. I own you now. Yeah, that's the one. That's the light side points. I'm here to save you. Okay, well, she's a bit high on herself, but I'm going to say this. Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Yeah, Rashik I'll put you in a collar, babe. you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. This is me without a scratch on me, lady. I think you've got things confused. You were a helpless prisoner cowering in the cage in your own filth until I came along. I didn't need your help with those Volcars. I can handle myself. We don't have time for this. Karth is waiting for us. Yeah, all right, that's pretty lame, but that's what we'll go with. Karth Onasi is alive. Fine. No, he's just waiting for us. He's Karth starting to smell. Karth is one of the best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Oh, he's Forgive tried me. out my abilities. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act It's lonely and cold sometimes. in the evening. Please take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? You know, playing cards. I'm getting sick of your attitude, Bastilla. Yeah, I kind of am, actually. Don't worry, we'll figure something out. We were trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, uh -huh. we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastilla, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Good for you. He's right. You aren't throwing much leadership or showing much leadership ability right now, Bastilla Karth. You can't take talk to your commanding officer like that. Um, you know, we're going to get on somebody's bad side. I don't want to turn Karth on my bad side. Let's, uh, let's just throw a bomb right down the middle. Both of you settle down, children. This isn't helping. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Don't worry, I won't let that happen. I'm here to save the day. Okay, so what now? Let's find a way off this planet. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Something weird happened when we first met. Like a vision. Oh, okay. I guess there was a cutscene there as well. The first dream we had right near the beginning of the game, the cutscene that isn't functioning, was Bastilla fighting some mysteriously cloaked gentleman 
in an unknown location, all kind of cloudy. I wasn't in the dream. And I would I don't recall what the second cutscene is. I could actually watch it right now and come back. And I, actually, what I'll, I'll do that. So uh, something weird happened when we first met, like a vision. A vision? A vision of what? Of you fighting a dark Jedi, Revan, I guess. This is strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. Are you saying I can use the force? Force sensitivity? What do you mean? Yeah, let's play dumb. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. So does this mean I could be a Jedi? And wear the jammies and everything? This isn't the first time I had a vision. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. But the vision said something about half price off pizza, and it's supposed to expire within the next couple of days. I don't think we can leave it. Okay, let's check. Oh, we got a lightsaber. And do we have some crystals? No, no crystals yet. The crystals are like anything else. They add benefit plus minus, that sort of thing. Clearly the lightsaber is going to go to Bastilla. And I don't think we picked up anything new there. How about this mission? No, nothing there either. And I don't recall picking up any... No. Okay. And I'm quite... Oh, it looks like, yeah, I can adjust. Uh, I didn't realize that. I thought they had to be in the party to adjust their stuff, but good. Now, combat suit, yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, we're, we're okay there. We'll cancel. How about you? Uh, just clothing for her, looks like, at least for now. Nothing uh, low enough stats for her to wear. Bridget's belt. Resist bludgeoning. Oh, this, yeah, this might be worth my while. Um, do I role play? Let's, let's leave me with the stealth belt and maybe Karth? Because Bredjik has, uh, no, he didn't have that. He had a glove, a belt, and something else, didn't he? Gloves. Designed to handle coordination of the wearer. Oh, dexterity plus one. Guess who wants that? Moi. Do we, do we have two sets of Bredjik's gloves? We can't. What the heck? It looks like we do, and it's not letting me unequip them now. Is that a bug? Inventory. If it's a bug, I'm going to exploit it. No, there we go. Karth? Yeah, how did that happen? Okay, well, they're stuck, though. I'm, You know, I'm going to reload. I don't like that. And I think I can load a quick save. Oh, shoot. Auto save? No, that's even further back. Darn it. I was hoping it would have quick saved here. Hang on, I'm going to just uh, pause the game for a second. Okay, so there was something wrong there with his inventory. When I stepped outside, he wasn't equipped with those gloves. But it started a bunch of quests and things. So I... Uh, I just replayed the last little bit. I think I followed the same conversation pat pattern and everything, at least fairly close. Let's do the workbench thing again. Lightsaber, I'm pretty sure there was nothing to upgrade. No. The... I did one upgrade though, didn't I? Car Blaster, nothing there. Oh, maybe not. Missions, no. And nothing in the armor. Nope, okay. 
So I'm going to stick to equipping inventory once we get outside. I think we're going to switch back to these two guys now. These guys really did well for me, but let's get back to the normal game. I think I'm going to switch to um, ranged weapons again. So let's see. We'll just add these two. I'm curious what her skills are like. And here you go. Here's the discussions I was talking about. You're there, human. You're the rider who won the great swoop race in the lower city, yes? That's right. I swooped right in and won. You must have me confused with someone else. What do you want? I have a message from Candorus Odo. He says to meet him in the cantina. Candorus? Isn't he the Mandalorian that works for Davik? Yes, that's the one. He's given us connections, so you can see why it'd be wise to attend the yeah, okay. Candorus didn't say why he wanted to meet you. He only said an offer you couldn't refuse. Given his connections, you can see why it, you'd be foolish to ignore his request. Thanks for the message. I'll go him and see him in the cantina. A wise choice, human. I should advise you not to wait too long. Mandalorians are known for many things, but patience is not one of them. Okay, we got a couple of levels up. And an interesting side note here. Candrus is actually waiting in both cantinas. So, uh, depending on which one you choose to go and visit, you're not going to be poking around wondering where the heck he is. They, uh, another little tuning point. Ready. So, for skills, we will use recommended. Uh, he just throws it into healing. All right, whatever. Feats. Two left feet, sniper shot. I kind of turned that down last time, didn't I? And I gave him this. Um, I'm going to do the same thing again. See what I mean, though? Once you've turned down their recommended, it just keeps trying to use it. And strength, extra vitality. So basically, um, one extra point of health for every level attained so far and in the future. And it's retroactive, too, which is nice. Two bonus to all saving throws. That's really hard to beat. And how about you? Level up. She's level three. We're at about level. We've got a few levels to deal with here. Attributes. Recommended. Wisdom. Makes sense. She's Jedi. We'll leave it like that. She's got nice charisma. Great dexterity. Uh, recommended. Awareness. I, I don't think so. Uh, she can spot people hidden by stealth, but my aware awareness is really high as it is. Let's throw them in here. And powers. What do they recommend? Stun droid? Yeah, I like that. So we'll go with that. You can see there's, um, there's negative force powers too. Uh, this is a light side power. I need level 6, so I can't do it. But there is some dark side powers, too. Like this one. Yeah, dark side power. I can choose it, but if I'm a light side character using a dark side power, I get a actually a pretty major penalty. And, see, she's still set to level up. So we just go through this until done. And I think we'll just keep throwing it into Treat Injury. I'm not sure if she can treat other people's injuries and if we gain that bonus. I think it's just to treat her own, but that's as good as any. Burst of speed, that's great. And that is a team sport as well, if you want to call it that. Uh, everybody speeds.